Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today I want to share with you this spring tutorial water marble nail art. It is so easy to do. I actually just made one nail polish bullseye in the water and just dunked all five fingers in there like at once. So this is like the most easy and quick way to do a water marble. So if you want to know how I made this, please keep on watching. So the first thing you want to do is apply a base coat and I already did so and I also already applied an opaque layer of a white nail polish. So it doesn't really matter what kind of base coat or white nail polish you use, I just used the Essence Studio nails and I used a white polish by Catrice Cosmetics. Then for the water marble I used three colors and the first one is a beautiful silver holographic glitter one which is called O2 Crashed the Party. This is such a pretty one. Then I really wanted to use a soft pink one which is 30 Get Ready and then a minty green color which is called 42 Everybody Say Yeah. And these are all from the Essence Shine Last and Go collections. These are in stores right now and they are pretty affordable and 100% and vegan. Then to protect the skin from any nail polish and just to make sure that I don't have a lot of cleanup work afterwards, I just take some regular tape. You can use scotch tape, you can use any tape, liquid latex or any other like skin protection barrier. I just really like showing you guys how to do it with regular tape because that is something most of you already have laying around the house so you don't have to go out and buy any liquid latex or scotch tape or anything like that you could also use like um, a tape you use when you are painting that is pretty cool as well that works perfectly too but one little trick I want to share with you is that when I use tape, I fold over a little edge so it is easier to get rid of the tape once you have applied your water marble. So yeah, once your fingers are all completely taped in, because we're going to dunk in all five fingers at once, it must look something like this. It's up to you how far you want to go in with the tape. I just do it like halfway the finger because there is also always some nail polish getting everywhere so yeah I have a little cleanup work to do afterwards and I am just going to dunk in all of the colors one by one in my uh, cup of water this is just a random glass bowl I use to do water marbles in I use it to soak my water decals in as well um, just use any bowl or cup that is like convenient to you I just prefer this glass one because I don't like to use uh, plastic cups or bowls or anything like that. I don't like using disposable items. I just like to buy one good piece and use it for years and years and years so I don't waste any like products or plastic or anything like that. So you just want to dunk it I, I, I bloop. <laughs> you just want to dunk it in. I don't know what happened there with my voice. Bloop. I just had a little brain fart. Um, but you just want to dunk it in one by one. Make your little bullseye. Um, the water I used is just random tap water. I boiled it. It was left over from um, some tea I wanted to make. And this one is just totally cooled down to like regular temp temperature. Like 20 or 21 degrees or something. Um, just room temperature nothing too hot nothing too cold just random I didn't filter it this time and that is why it doesn't spread out perfectly but that is like perfectly fine to me because I'm not really making a specific pattern in this one anyways I'm just going to swirl it around a bit because I am doing five nails at a time I really like all of my nails to have like a unique design so yeah you just want to swirl it around a bit and once you're happy with the design on the water just dunk in all five nails at once you don't want to pull them back out right away you just want to make sure that you get rid of all of the polish which is still left on top of the water and i just get rid of that with a little um, sharp edged dotting tool that i use to draw in the marble into the polish bullseye so i'm just going to get rid of all of that before i take my fingers out of the water and then you 
you already see the, the design you have left on your nail. I really like the fact that they're all unique and you can actually still see some of that white base because the silver holographic glitter nail polish is a transparent base. But once um, you are waiting for that to dry, just make sure that you screw on the caps on top of your nail polish bottles again. And after that, you can take um, the tape off of your fingers. Um, I really like waiting just a couple of minutes before taking off the nail polish or uh, the nail polish, taking off the tape which we use to protect the skin and just to make sure you don't have a ton of cleanup work to do afterwards. And the only thing I do have to mention that if you use regular tape, it is pretty sticky. Um, and mostly it sticks pretty well on top of each other. So it can be a little bit hard to get rid of your tape as um, a skin protection barrier thingy. But just take your time. You could also use some tweezers as well. Then if you do have like some nail polish all over the place, like I did, I had some tiny like little spots that got underneath the tape or just on top of the tape and it got all over the place. You just want to take a cotton round and get rid of all of that excess. And for the cuticle area, you just want to use a little brush, but also you don't want to forget to clean off your little tool, which you use to draw the design into your nail polish bullseye, because it's a waste to just keep all the product on there and it will just be gunky and messy and you don't want that. And here I'm just taking a little bit of that Essence nail polish remover and a little brush to clean up around the cuticle area and a little bit underneath the nails as well. But we're going to use a little cotton swab later on for that because sometimes when you water marble, you can also have a little bit of nail polish underneath the nail. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that. Sometimes it just happens and hmm, you could leave it on there, but... I just feel like it is a more clean look to just get rid of that marble design underneath the nail. So yeah, you just want to clean up and yeah, I don't really have that much left to say actually about this design. Um, I am going to add a little bit more of that glitter polish and a top coat as well after I cleaned up. And... I really hope you liked it though. I'm pretty uh, curious to hear your thoughts about this color combination. Personally, I really, really like this kind of color combination, like the soft pink, the soft like minty green. Um, and I also like the fact that you can still see a little bit of that white underneath. I think it keeps the design really fresh. So yeah, that is the end result. I do see that I have a couple of like small air bubbles, but that's nothing big that really concerns me. But you could easily get rid of that with a little cotton swab as well and a little bit of nail polish remover. Um, here I'm just going underneath the nail to clean up, but you can also use that same technique to just um, slightly tap on the air bubbles in the nail polish. And you can easily get rid of those without messing up the entire design. Um, but yeah, you just want to clean up as much as needed. And if you're happy with your design, of course, because sometimes when you water marble, um, especially when you do five nails at a time, some nails might not be to your liking. You can just easily remove that design, make another bullseye in the water and just dunk in the nails you want to redo if you want to put it to that. But here I was just adding a little bit more of that silver holographic glitter nail polish ju just with like the dry brush technique. So you want to get rid of most of the polish off of the brush before you go on to the nail. And I'm just sparsely um, adding that to some particular places on the nail pretty randomly. Actually, I didn't really have like a plan on forehand. I just wanted to add a little bit extra sparkle because I love my sparkles and I love my holographic glitter as well. But yeah, you just want to make sure that is completely dry before you go in with your top coat. And I'm using the gel top coat by Catrice. As I said in previous videos, like a hundred times before, this is just called a gel top coat. It isn't a gel that you have to cure. It is just a regular nail polish that dries over time. So you don't have to own an LED or UV light or anything like that. It is just called the gel because it gives a gel like finish and shine. Um, I think this design would look pretty cool with a matte top coat as well. And in a previous video, I also asked you if you wanted to see any matte designs, but there isn't like much animo for that or much questions or um, 
like request uh, request for me to do so so i'm just going to stick to the glossy finishes for now and if i have some inspiration to do a matte one i will definitely make it and show you later on but this was already the entire spring water marble design do let me know what you think in the comments down below personally i really love the pink and the green and the white together and you can't go wrong with a silver holographic glitter am i right so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions questions or comments let me know in the comments down below i love you guys so much and once again thank you and i'll see you in the next video